Hello, friends. Welcome to the Career Guru Podcast. I am your host, Steve Yanofsky. What a glorious day it is to start your path on a new career. Doors are opening here at the Boston Career Institute even as we speak. And I'm here holding the key for you. So tune in, stay sharp, and enjoy yourself. This is going to be great. Hashtag Let's Career Up. Happy Wednesday to everybody. It's hump day. From here, you can see Friday, which is something to look forward to. It's our other class. Also, one day before the weekend. I love Wednesdays, especially today, because we have a special guest for you, your classmate, Teresa. And Teresa has some great news to share with the rest of the class and to share some of her experience with you guys. So without further delay, Teresa, take it away. Tell us what news you have to share with us today. Thank you. So I enrolled into this program back in March and enrolling into this program and learning about the topics in this field was like a green light to me of how much I wanted to become a surpassing technician. And I recently accepted an offer at New England's Baptist Hospital. Oh, so you accepted an offer. It means that you got a job. Yeah. Like All right. So I just want to make sure we put it in the, uh, in the, oh, I see some, uh, I see uh, uh, some hands clapping out there with congratulations. Thank what you. Have you Tell us a little bit about the process. How did you go about getting there? How did it all start? Talk our way through from the beginning, how that worked for you. After enrolling, I got in touch with you about making a resume and that took like maybe like less than 10 minutes. It was pretty quick. After that, I started applying for openings in the Boston area. How did you do that, Teresa? I went on Indeed. I would filter the positions. So I made sure it was like mornings, um, what fit into my needs. And then I um, would go, if I see, if I know a hospital, um, I would go on their website and just check under careers and see what they have available that's not an Indeed. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I started applying and I got interviews after I'm applying. Mm -hmm. What gave you the confidence to pursue interviews? You don't have any experience in, in the healthcare field, right? No. I, I work at a, at a hospital right now, but in this field. Do, doing what? Doing what? Remind me. I don't I don't remember off the top of my head. I, I'm a patient observer at oh, the okay, hospital. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, but nothing in sterile processing, so no, nothing. It's kind of nothing. Okay. About how old are you? I'm 23. Okay, so we're talking about a young woman here. All right, so you went on, you applied, great. So all of a sudden, people are reaching out to you. Are you prepared for the interview? Uh, yes, I, oh. um, I went over your interview video so many times. I would write down questions and then write down answers on a uh, my notebook and even like look in the mirror, just practice and just what I'm going to say. Yeah, <laughs> just going over notes some quizzes just so I go into the interview with the, the, the knowledge I got to know. So uh, so first interview you had probably on the phone. It was a full oh, interview. Yes. They sent an email out first just to see what um, like a screening kind of what they yep. were available to talk. And then the next week I would talk to a recruiter. And then mm -hmm. the week after, I would talk to the hiring manager. The last week, which was not long ago, I had a walkthrough with the hiring manager in the department. Who was the hiring manager? Do you remember? Mark. Mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was a student of mine in Mass General Hospital many years ago. <laughs> he did not tell me that. Well, it, it's okay. People forget certain things, but that's okay. It was It was a long time ago. At this point in time, probably around, what, 10, 12 years ago, something like that. I don't remember anymore. But whatever the case may be, this is this is great. Mark, tall guy, right? Yeah. Uh, well, he's pretty yeah. Tall. I forgot his last name, Angstrom or something like that. Uh, what one of those one of those Nordic class names? In in any case, so how how was Mark? Mark was an easygoing fellow, from what I remember. Nice guy, seemed like. But he's going to be your manager, so it may not be so nice uh, in general. But no, he's going to be okay. New England Baptist Hospital, by the way, is an excellent place to start. Folks, those of you who are considering applying, may I make a suggestion that you do that there too. They have three positions open at this time that at least they have posted on Indeed. And I know that most of you have reached out to me already and have your resumes handy. After this week and next week of classes, you're going to be 
fully versed in the knowledge that you need to get started. Okay, so just a couple of weeks, but it's a good time to start applying. So forgive me for that little distraction, Teresa. You're on the roll, and uh, I, I really appreciate the way you're handling yourself. And first of all, also appreciate the fact that you're speaking to us. Not everybody likes to do that, but I, I do appreciate this moment of inspiration for your classmates. So tell us a little bit about the interview with the recruiter that, that you had and a little bit about the, your interview with Mark, with the with the hiring manager, and the walkthrough. I, I really want to hear about the walkthrough afterwards. But take us take us from the beginning of the interview processes. So with the recruiter, it was just, um, it wasn't long ago. Like, it was like not long, like less than like 10 minutes or 15, but mm -hmm. um, it was just basic questions, like tell me about yourself and um, my qualifications. And then uh, going into hiring, I mean, with the um, interview with the hiring manager, that's when it was like longer and he would ask me um, a lot of questions. Like, how did I hear about the job? Tell me about current job and past jobs, um, qualification and skills uh, about the program. And after that, he we set up an appointment to do a walkthrough. And the walkthrough, it's it's really cool. I It was like the videos you would post under files. So when I walked in, I was familiar with it, with the department. We went to the packaging and assembly area, we went to decont yeah, decontamination area. It was very cool. I, I had fun going into that walkthrough. Excellent. Excellent. So you weren't lost. So the videos that I'm posting here and where I talk about these different places, the videos that I did on a walkthrough with other people, that helped you to be familiar with that department? Yes, for sure. Okay. So what words of wisdom can you tell your classmates? What could you impart to them? Should they watch these videos? What were What are the helpful hints that they could get from you? Absolutely watch those videos. So when you have your walkthrough with your hiring manager, you won't feel completely lost. Keep on studying, be on top of your quizzes, grabbing someone so you could teach them what you learn. I would force my younger sister to listen to me <laughs> and oh, teach her. Right, be still my heart. Oh, 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 <laughs> um, music to my ears. Go on, more. Um, another thing is uh, not to be nervous with your interviews. Just remember you got an interview because you're qualified. And you won't lose nothing of um, going into these interviews. Think of it as a way of you're getting to know someone and they're getting to know you. Yes, you guys got um, this. Amazing. Amazing. This is great. Again, folks, when I say it, it's one thing. When a person who just got a job offer tells you your classmate, one of you, that's a whole different level of engagement, of understanding what's going on. Any of you want to chime in um, and ask uh, any specific questions while Teresa is in the talkative mood? By the way, Teresa, you you are an awesome interviewee. You you Thank you. you 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 are so well spoken and eloquent. I am I'm amazed. You have big things in store for you that I can tell you. Yovana, you did you want to chime in? I see your hand is up. Yeah, I just have a question. Do all the classes before you applied, or how did you know it was time to start applying? I would have done it a lot sooner, probably like. A week after the class but I uh, waited because of personal things but the faster the better in my opinion perfect it's a great answer and remember I talk about this almost every class as soon as you have a new resume as soon as you had a chance to watch my video to be comfortable with it and right now all of the supporting videos I have for you posted you know under the file section in this class all of the supporting videos are there Everything is there for you to become familiar, okay? The reason I, I tell people to hold off a little bit, like, for example, a lot of new students in class right now who started with, I don't know, quality and inventory management, which are great subjects for the exam, but to know a little bit more about the layout of the department, about the equipment, about this, about that, would be more helpful. But since I laid out all the videos, all the supporting videos are there for you, you can do it anytime as long as you're ready to answer the interview questions, you will be okay. See, people already know this class. People have hired, New England Baptist Hospital have, has hired a lot of our former students who spent time working there, then they moved on to larger hospitals. New England Baptist is a small hospital that specializes mostly in orthopedics. But it's a great place to start. It's a great place to work. Baptist is a very good department 
for learning and for becoming proficient with uh, sterile processing. So like I said, there are at least three positions open right now in the Baptist for entry-level sterile processing technicians. And as you can see, they're hiring you on certified because they know you will be certified. So everybody who they hired was able to gain certification and their credentials within one year of being hired. And that's what they're looking for right now. So now is the perfect time to do it. Sorry, I, I jumped in and, and with a little bit more information. Anybody else have any questions that you want to ask Teresa? Don't ask me, ask her. She's the one that succeeded. I'm no longer working in the hospital, so I can only share my past. She is the present and the future. So ask. Yes, I have a question. Go. Congratulations, Teresa. I just wanted to ask you about the interview. Was there anything challenging that they asked you that you weren't expecting, or it was all in the physical uh, from Steve that you uh, looked at? There were some questions he did ask me that wasn't mentioned in the video, but it's questions that you're able to answer, such as, why do you want to work here? And I told him how I, you know, I did research and how I'm familiar with the working culture, how um, reading their description of the job, I uh, matched it with my skill set in qualification. Also, other questions like that are um, pretty basic that wasn't mentioned in the video. They ask you for like your current job stuff and past job stuff, but it's mostly questions um, about your life and your skill set from your other jobs. Excellent. Thank you. Now, remember in the video that I give you, I also give you the tools to answer similar questions. Even though I don't give you all the questions, there's no way for me to give you all the questions and answers 100%, but I give you the techniques so you can be prepared to take on any question that will be asked of you, providing you stick to certain basic principles of interviewing. I call them the three Ps, professional, positive, and nothing personal. I, I know that nothing personal starts with an N, but the word personal does, okay? So these are the things that you need to stick to and be able to expand using your own mind, which I know all of you are pretty bright people, okay, to be able to do this. So you can pull it off. So if you study the video and if you study the technique for interviewing, you will do just great, just like Teresa did, okay? Great question. Anybody else? Take take this time to to ask these questions. It's imperative that you do. Because again, your success is not determined by the certificate that you receive from me. It's the it's two things. It's the job that you get that pays you more money, and it is the national certification that you will get once you are fully prepared by me and with your own personal efforts. So please take this moment to to ask. Teresa is an excellent uh, source of new information, and she's willing to share. Thank you, Teresa, once again. Please, folks, take this moment to ask. Don't be bashful. Remember, you're doing everyone else a favor. If you have a question, that means that somebody else has a similar question but is afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask. We're all friends here. We're here looking to accomplish the same goals. You're looking to get a new job. I'm looking to get more students like you. I have a question. All right. How many interviews did you have before choosing this one? I had a good amount. There's a lot of positions opening in Boston. So um, before I accepted this one, I had maybe most of the places I did apply, I did get an interview from because the resume is just really, the resume is great. So you get a lot of interviews. Yeah, I got a good chunk of interviews. Uh, excellent question once again. Thank you, Teresa, for your support with the resume. Yes, I, I, I do know what I'm doing with your resume. <laughs> I know what the managers are looking for. So please, those of you who haven't yet gotten your resume to me, please do so. And believe me when I tell you, reading about yourself from a different point of view, my point of view, will give you the strength and the confidence that you may not have just yet. Okay? Just when somebody else gives you approval, so to speak, not an approval, but it gives you this added perspective on the work that you have done. Okay. So it's, it's important for you to know that, that you are good. All right. And that you are worthwhile to hire. Very important. This confidence is key 
and you can hold your head high when you go to these interviews. You can do that. I have another question. Okay, great, great. Awesome, awesome. I wanted to ask Teresa, like, when, uh, when she got the call for an interview, did they also, uh, did they give you a full interview first, or they just invited you to come in in person? They first sent an email, asked what days and time you're available, and then the first interview was with the phone. It's a phone call. You, you really have no choice in that. And if you want it in person, it's a phone call. I spoke to the recruiter. And then the second interview was a Zoom with the hiring manager. And then it was in person. Walked through with the hiring manager. So everything is um, like through phone calls in Zoom now. Teresa, I have a question. What would be the most important thing that you would say to your classmates about how you need to conduct yourself during these interviews? What is that, that emotional conditioning that you have that gives you that strength and the confidence to pull it off. What was your thinking? Going to the lectures a lot definitely helped for the interview. Also, practicing a lot helped me with the interview too. Like I said, going um, in front of the mirror, just watching myself, I present myself and what I'm going to say for these questions. Yeah, those really helped me. And just your video of just interviewing, I watched it on repeat. That helped me a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would like to mention something and see if it resonates with you. I want to make sure that you folks understand that to be yourself is key. You don't have to pretend to be somebody else. It's all about you. Don't worry about other people saying yes or no to you during an interview. You want to be concerned with the following. People want to hire the right person for their department. For that, they need to interview you. They will figure out whether you, you are the right person or not. If you present them with a fake, they're going to hire a fake, and neither you nor they will be happy. That's what I want to get at here. Be yourself. Be positive. Make sure that true you comes across. A person who is responsible, who is reliable, who is motivated. These are the people that they want to hire. Show them your real you and you will get the right job. Because it's, again, I always compare it to going out on a date. If you're going to be faking it all the time, you're going to have to fake it for the rest of your life. Otherwise, nobody's going to have to be happy about this. But if you present your true self, well, obviously, you, you put your best foot forward. But we simply accentuate your own good qualities. We're not trying to present them with a lie. We're trying to present them with the truth but with a positive spin. Am I making any sense, Teresa? Does that make any sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's who they want. They want you. You see, they already know about your work experience. They already know about your educational experience. They know about your qualifications because they saw your resume. There's, there's no mystery there. The only conversation that they're having is with the real you because they've never met you before. Based on your resume, you are hired based on your personal performance, based on the way you conduct yourself during the interview, that is the only thing that matters. And I, I want to make sure you didn't miss anything of what I just said. Based on your resume, if they called you, you are already hired. Understand that. The only person who can blow this job now is you by being unprofessional, by being negative, by saying bad things about others, your past jobs, whatever. These are the only things that will ruin your chances of getting that job. If you come across as positive, professional, polite, prepared, all these P's, right? You are hired. You will be hired. If they tell you at the end of the interview, well, we really needed somebody with more experience. You need to think, stand back and say, okay, what did I say? How did I answer these questions? Because remember what I just said, if they called you, you are hired. If your interview doesn't go well, that means you're fired without being hired first. Am I making sense? Yes. Excellent. One last chance to ask questions. All right, Teresa, I want to thank you personally from the bottom of my heart for uh, speaking to your class. Congratulate you with your success. You have achieved success. You're, I know you're not done with the class, but I know you'll be able to log in and finish and watch the lectures and get all the uh, quizzes done. And I know, I know you will pass the board exam. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
Mm. Thank you very much. And on behalf of the entire class, I thank you once again. All right. This was wonderful. I mean, I, I feel so inspired. This sort of thing gives me strength to continue to teach the same stuff over and over again to you and to the new people. I'm here to support you. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to give you and offer you guidance. All you have to do is listen and you have to want to do it. Just remember that if if you're not going to take initiative, if you're not going to take that first step, uh, there's no success. You have to be the engine that drives you. I give you the fuel. I give you the knowledge. You guys have the the power. You You can pull that train to success. Okay? So you do that and I'll be here to support you. Well, friends and aspiring career gurus, this was fun. Thank you for tuning in. I feel enlightened. I feel empowered. And I'm feeling grateful that we spend time with you. For more information about Boston Career Institute, please visit our website, bostoncareer.org. Boston Career Institute has three campuses located in Brookline, Massachusetts, Malden, Massachusetts, and Lowell, Massachusetts. Call our toll-free number, 888-383-6058. For questions, comments, and or information about our podcast, email me at thecareerguru at bostoncareer.org. The Career Guru Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, our website, bostoncareer.org, or wherever you stream your podcast. Subscribe, stream, rate, and review our shows. Your rating and reviews help our show reach new audiences. Produced by PodPro Entertainment, The Career Guru lives within a network of podcasts located at podproentertainment.com. Hashtag The New Radio. Looking forward to seeing you soon. All the best to you. My name is Steve Yanofsky. I am the career guru. May God bless you. Hashtag, let's career up. <laughs>